What's going on everybody? So just more like strange twists and turns when it comes to this um, head coach uh, search going on. And I mean, luckily today I'm not really reporting any bad news. Uh, last couple days, you know, Kevin O'Connell dropped on Sunday, which was weird. And then yesterday, Rich Passaccia interviewing. That was weird too. But now kind of today, one good thing that came out was uh, the Jaguars are interviewing Rick Spielman for an upper level, level upper management type of position. Uh, he was a guy that he was a GM for the Vikings for about 10 years. And I mean, you look at his draft history, he had some damn good drafts. So I think he would be an awesome addition. He's also owner or older, I should say. And I mean, really his track record really shows that he is qualified for that kind of position. You know I mean? It's not like a lot of people like to throw out, you know, oh, Jim Caldwell EVP, but does Jim Caldwell's EVP make any sense if he doesn't really have a personnel history? You know what I mean? Now you, with a guy like Rick Spielman, you know, you bring in a guy that has been able to have good relationships with different guys. Um, he's all, he has a proven track record when it comes to drafting people. And I think this would really hit it out of the park. But now with this going on, it's kind of leading more toward the Jaguars maybe hiring Doug Peterson as a head coach. And I mean, Doug Peterson going into this whole process, he was my number one choice. I like that he had experience. I like that he's been in an organization where he was on the, the bad end of an owner slash GM slash head coach, you know, relationship structure and developed quarterback. He was a former quarterback too. Uh, and, you know, he's done it before. He's, he's been a head coach before. I know that's been a big prerequisite uh, really at the beginning of this whole entire search was let's bring in a guy that's done it before. Now he's done it before. You know what I mean? Uh, but the sad thing is that we were also bought in on Byron Lethwich, and it looks like that dream is kind of fading when it comes to bringing him back home, and that's a little bit sad because I know – I was really bought into it. I was ready for the nostalgia. I was ready for the new fresh look, him and Adrian Wilson. Uh, but it's looking like that may not come into fruition, unfortunately. So, you know, obviously Byron's unproven. So, and whenever you have a head, like a head coach that's done before, you're going to see all the bad things. You know what I mean? You can throw out all the different bad things about uh, Doug Peterson. Oh, he, the Frank Reich was the mastermind behind it, which I'm not going to buy because I think Frank Reich has been kind of exposed as a Colts head coach, but a guy that really hasn't done anything. Um, but obviously you need to bring in a good offensive coordinator with him. You need to build a good staff with him. And apparently, you know, with this whole Rich Passaccia interview, that was probably more for a special teams role. Also Vic Fangio, that was probably more for a defensive coordinator role. And then all of a sudden you look at it and say, you say, okay, not only are we going to bring in an experienced head coach, but we might bring in an experienced, um, you know, experienced guy at the top when it comes to an EVP. You might bring in an experienced special cor special teams coordinator, you know, defense coordinator. We'll see what we do with offensive coordinator. Uh, but boom, all of a sudden you got a pretty experienced staff. And I got to say, it's been a really weird hunt for a head coach. But, you know, if we come away with, you know, Spielman is EVP and Doug Peterson is head coach. I think you can do a lot worse than that. And at the end of the day, I would probably be very happy with that. And then the, the common denominators, it looks like, you know, Balky will probably remain GM. Not that, uh, but at least there's going to, going to be a guy over him. I don't know. It's just, you know, I can't, I can't break down the positives. I can't break down the whys about Shad Khan why he wants to keep him, why he's so obsessed with this man. But he is obsessed with him. So, uh, you know, he, want, he wants him to hang around. So we'll see kind of how this unfolds. I'm hoping, I'm hoping something finalizes by Thursday. I'll be leaving town Friday. So hopefully Thursday so I can come at you guys with live streams and whatnot. But, you know, I mean, we'll see. But, all right, guys, thanks so much. If you guys missed it, I was on Uche Waniri's show last night with – him and Dilla and a bunch of people really, really loved it. It was a really good show. So go over to Uche's channel and check that out. With all that said, go Jags. I'm out.